Yeah, I mean, they're true, that's for sure, what was going down at the time. And basically, it all came about with the designer, it's uh, Ralph. He actually got me one of his jibe tents, and we were in contact through that, and I was like doing some stuff, and then he had some kites out there. I was quite intrigued to, to see how they were flying anyway, and also wanted to do a bit of a favor to, to give him some feedback on them. By the time I left Cape Town, I was on a kite that I was super happy with and was positive that was the right direction for the future. Yeah, it's majorly different. I mean, everything has undergone a massive change and, and using the materials that the guys use, they're really advanced and the way they lay the boards up are really, really quite amazing. So that's produced a lot more pop, a lot more upwind ability and there's a few key points that's helped my riding recently. So oh, and the future is even more positive with new shapes and new, and new uh, possibilities. So yeah, it's good now and even better later. Let's see. Well basically I had a lot of input on the Vegas over over the winter and you know a big part of setting that kite up how I fly it was to use kind of the six line setup that I, I have on my previous kites. That's something that they wanted to incorporate into the Vegas and have a second option. We've made a great safety system that goes with that. Now that's added a lot more <coughs> performance and more of a smoother turn to the kite and also other people can enjoy it now because it's safe and easy relaunch and, and they can dump the kite if they're in trouble. It was to the point where I needed to kind of move on myself and have the right equipment and progress further for competing so I've had a great experience with them in the past and everything's been really good and I don't regret any of it and I'm, I'm thankful for, for what I've learned there in the, in the company but you know now it's a, it's a new turn I made the decision from arguably one of the smaller companies to you know, probably the biggest now. It's quite a big eye-opener for me and for me to see how everything runs there, the timing of everything, I mean, the potential for turning around prototypes. I'm really positive and happy about the future and of course it's sad about the past, but it's time to move on for me. Um, it's hard to know, you know, if, what will happen with Lexi 4 from now on. I think they'll carry on with what they were doing in the past and obviously the Hadlow thing was a big part of the water side but they're obviously quite big in the land industry and that's something maybe they'll focus more on now in the future. Yeah so I guess the brand as Hadlow by Flexi4 will, is going to be discontinued. I mean it's, uh, there's kites out there and I know there's a lot of fans who love the kite and everything and luckily they'll still be around for a little bit for people to take. In general that will fade away and then we'll start doing new stuff and it will be maybe not such a individual Hadlow kite but a lot of my personal input that goes into some North stuff. For me I love to improve the products and have the potential to make the best kite out there and I have that opportunity right now so I'm happy with that. I guess I'd been doing it for like seven years straight and I was kind of like at a point where you know emotionally very up and down with wins and losses and, and you know just being on the road for so long never really having a solid base to go back to and kind of was at that age where I kind of maybe needed to take some time out and focus on something else you know I managed to do some weight star stuff I enjoyed riding the rails it was new I was learning stuff every session and in the end it helped me because I focused on more tricks of doing more quality then the competition changed where you only have to do five tricks, you can ride boots, you didn't have to stay up wind as much and you know it's all worked out and that's what drew me back to go into the peak array now and now I've got a real balance of doing both. And yeah, I'm competitive from a young age, I guess it's just like I was put in that situation, I always was at school whether I was playing football, you know any school sports I was always there like I only wanted to do sport, I only wanted to you know, win and you know, I started BMX and skating and then kiting came along, I had a great opportunity to to go and follow that direction obviously with the help of my parents, like they put everything behind that and when they saw I had the chance to to do well and I enjoyed the competing and I had the chance to to make it, they gave me every opportunity I could to, to get into that position so it was good when there was like the Rosham, the Triple S and all the, these sort of events like I wanted to prove myself that obviously I could do well in the freestyle and the trick side of things but also kind of progress in the rails and do something that maybe I weren't quite as good at at the time and new challenges that's where it's at. 
Yeah, so I think they're quite different because, you know, the PKA is really intense and I'm going there just for the job to win the event and do well. And then when I'm coming to these events, I'm looking a lot more forward to hanging out with friends, riding in a lot more of a chilled environment and riding together in, in this kind of format, which is a, a lot looser format. So, yeah, they both have their pros and cons and I enjoy them both the same. Yeah, it's, in, it's crazy being back after all the years. I mean, last year I tried to just do a few events to see how it was and, you know, if it was possible to, to do even better. It's incredible the amount of impact having this injury has had, I think. You're not on the water, your muscles aren't as strong, you have to gradually work your way back to that level. So even after two years, probably only found myself back where I was before it happened. So it is what it is. It's given me more motivation to kite. It's given me more motivation to make a comeback and you know, I'm at that point now where I feel like I'm doing super well and I have the opportunity to still to, to make an impression in, in that side of the sport. Doing well, it only just makes you do better. And I think Christoph's at that point now, he's had a couple of wins, he's got the confidence up and you just can't help but go forward from that position. So right now I'm just working on, you know, the few tricks that I need to, to make it happen. And, as much as I've been consistent in results, I don't feel like I've been consistent throughout the, each event and throughout all the heats with a lot of my tricks. So I know I can do all the tricks, but putting it together in every single heat is something I'm missing at the minute. I think it's really cool coming into a, a good team and North's a really great, great one for me to slot into because, you know, there's a lot of other riders who have gone to other teams and, you know, I think I kind of just fit into this one nicely. I've got good friends and who are already there. You're going to be doing a lot of travelling with those people, so you want them to be on the same level and and with the same vision and doing the same thing. So yeah, I'm really happy to be be a part of something where it's not all just all pressure on me. <laughs> I'm not going to these events to come second or third or fourth or anything. You know, I go to these events to win. That's you know, the whole point of, of competing for me. I want to go there, I'm motivated to take that first spot. So, yeah, I'm focused on winning another championship. I think it would be amazing to do what I've done and achieved in the past, which was obviously amazing, but it's a different time now. I've had that break, I've had that injury. It set me back a lot. And to do, it's another challenge, you know, winning that one will probably be as hard as it was for me to win three or four or five in the past. I'm firmly focused on winning again. I think that will be just the biggest achievement to, to win one more, or maybe even more than that. So, yeah, I'm, <laughs> it's hard work, but I'm going for it, that's for sure.